But A's no longer mean castling lessons for one school district in Green Country. Fort Gibson students are hitting the books even when weather forces their school to close. Two Works View reporter Joe Hankey joining us from there with how they're staying on track. Joe? Well, Karen, classes resumed on campus here today, but yesterday nearly 1900 Fort Gibson Public School students stayed home because of icy roads around town, and none of those students fell behind in the classroom. How many degrees did a quadrilateral have in it? Today, Kimberly Morgan is going over yesterday's math assignment with her seventh grade class. Students worked on this assignment during yesterday's snow day, not here at school, but in a virtual classroom. They just go down to the date of the day of school we're missing. Attending class from home, students access lessons and complete assignments online during snow days, which helps teachers keep their classes on track. It's very hard when we have extended snow days because we get behind before state testing, and then if we miss a few days, we end up going back and reviewing. Used as a pilot program last year, Fort Gibson superintendent says they received approval from the Department of Education to make it a permanent snow day alternative. We feel that this is a better option than trying to make up days at the end of the year or adding minutes on at the end of the day. Students can call or email their teacher if they have questions about the online work. We put notes, we put videos, we put their worksheets, and they just act like it's a regular school day, but they get to be in their pajamas. And since nearly a quarter of Fort Gibson students do not have internet at home, if a snow day looks possible, teachers send those students home with a packet of homework and instructions. Students are seeing the benefits. A student last year in particular that uh, said she would not have passed the state test if she had not had the two virtual days where she worked on the content for the test. Now tomorrow afternoon, uh, public school staff will meet to discuss what is and is not working with the online system. The superintendent here in Fort Gibson tells me the uh, feedback that he is getting the majority of it from teachers, parents, and also students is positive. Reporting live in Fort Gibson tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.